Good Wednesday morning to you. I'm going to finally get to doing uh, one of the uh, bags that I, I put the background on and uh, chose this one. So I have something to do here, here, here. But before that I have chosen, as you can see from my basket pile, two different types of embellishment. I have a goodly, a goodly amount of bits and bobs here to uh, collage if that's the route that I'm going to take, which I probably will because I feel like it. And this is a, um, a piece of uh, Rachel at Roxy Creations, a piece of her uh, beautiful um, antique linen. I think this might be pretty, so I uh, I had run it off originally on a heavier weight stock, so I'm using my heavy weight uh, copy paper. Before we do that, while I was doing the uh, the doggy looking in her drawer motion, I found this. Now I had put my hand on this repeatedly and said, "Oh, for the for white, wouldn't this be lovely?" And it was dated. Um, uh, 10, 2016. And I have to admit, I quite love this piece. It has some copper embellishment. This is um, light molding paste with a little bit of pen work to bring it out. And some, I can feel that this is uh, acrylic. So, I cut it down and had no real plan what to do, how to do, but after I cut it down, I went into my, um, oh, my heavy daisy white bin here, which is always next to me to provide fodder, and I found, I found this piece of paper, which I thought would make a pretty background, and glued them down, and then I found this one. And this was, of course, I don't think we'll ever find anything as pretty as what uh, A.C. Moore had. I'm sorry they went out of business. Their paper was for wonderful. But I know I have this one. So I thought this would be the inside of whatever. And this for the back. I have no slightest idea where this is going. Do not. I have the thought of... Mm, just putting her uh, grommeted holes and tying with silk. Um, you use grommeted holes and put ring. Could, could, uh, lay fabric hinges here. And I'm thinking, I have to be honest, I'm thinking. What could I do with the laying of fabric hinges that would make them special and unique? And I think I had an aha moment this morning while I was lying in bed um, answering uh, comments and so forth and looking at people's work and, and generally enjoying myself before I got up. And I thought, you know, I have a little idea at least about the inside hinge here. So, that's just a little uh, titillation for you. Um, I don't want you to get bored, but I think this one will come up next. Okay. Now, what here? What here? Hmm. Two different, two different kinds of, um, two different kinds of flowers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What else? Deliciously old music paper. 
right size, right size. Ooh, and there's this one. What happens if we don't use this? That we stick with um, white. Let's audition. isn't it? Okay. That's quite nice. This is a leftover piece from Vin. Possible. Possible. Now these are bits that I did years ago. And I'm finally starting to realize that they're worth their weight in gold. Okay, I put them out here. What else did I put out here? This one? No, we're not going to use this one again. Nope. And, my, 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 my. and then there are the girls. And then there are the girls. You've been passed over. So from a ballerina book that I had. And water. I need to drink humongous amounts of it. want that one girl. What that one girl? One girl. Not to lose this. One girl. I'll say it again. I promise. I'll bite my tongue if I say that again. that part. Gone. Maybe just the slightest bit. She's cloth underneath, or do we have something else that we really ought to have? Let's see if we like this cheesecloth. Deeply enough, did I? I kind of stopped. <clears throat> oh. Absolutely. 
forgot what colors I had uh, played in. Something. Do we want something tall and slender? One on one flower under her? Well, I think this girl just has to uh, let's make sure that I have all of her. Including her pretty hand. Really, Carol? Mm -mm That permits our colors to show. Let's see what we think. Oh, she is so pretty. She is so very pretty. She needs a little bit more of a statement under her. Sometimes cheesecloth is just cheesecloth. How about how about that one? Just surrounding her shoulders. I still want her face to show. But I want a little bit of darkness of the leaf to show because that will let her face show. I think that's a, uh, a possibility for this side. Now, let's pick them up here the way they fall, hopefully. And put them on the to-do list here. Out of harm's way. This side. I just want this bottom to be lacy. I just do. And I hope you understand. Okay, I'm going to take a moment and uh, fussy this out. And I think I'll put the, uh, I think I'll put the girl, etc., on the front. That I will. I'll be right back. Now that I'm putting down our girl, of course I'm using um, art glitter glue for the girl and this uh, piece of hand crocheted, vintage hand crocheted uh, medallion. I also gave her the slightest, slightest, slightest um, hickory smoke edge just to bring out 
just to bring her out a little bit. Now I need her face to be over the green because if you want light to show, you have to put dark behind it. And I also want to pull her up a little bit so that these pretty bars on that crochet piece show through. Let's see how we're doing here now. our front. Less is more. However, on the back, I'm going to, uh, I'm thinking more is more. So, back. Alright, this is the piece that is absolutely going to be here. that line for my uh, for my gluing now this is going to get a combo of yoohoo and a few little hits of uh, glitter glue. Just around here. Because I want to leave this bit up here. Do we do it? We did it. There's a little where it oughtn't to be, but it's going to be cut off. So, I have managed to extend that pocket a bit. And now that pocket needs to be attached. Now when that suits me that it's glued tightly enough, I have to do a little fine tuning. To make this pocket really extend, a little more hot glitter glue right here. So 
how it goes in. All the way down. Then I found this. Then I found this. Which is going to extend the pocket. Further. Why not? And then I thought a piece of my much hoarded white words. Up here. I'm actually going to keep those, and that's not what I tried to do, but, and then I thought, hmm, oh, I think it covers up the color too much. It doesn't go in there. Uh, I want these two to show. Just come up a little further. Not too much, just the littlest, tiniest possible bit. Yes, thinking, definitely thinking less is more here. Now how far up do we go? No, it doesn't. Well, how am I going to make that work? like that. Let's not make this more than it is, Carol. And I still have my little marks, my little cheat marks right there. Oh my goodness, we think we were building a bridge. The bridge on the River Kwai had nothing to do with on this today. Now, where are we? Down here, Carol. Should we go there, or should we go out? Let's bring the eye all the way down. Let's bring the eye all the way down. And... This is heavier paper, so this is ideal for what uh, 
I'm thinking might work. It certainly has decided to grow, hasn't it? Well, be careful, careful, careful. There. There it is. Let's hope. Growing pockets. Who knew that that's where I was going today? And that's why this arting is so fun. Lines, lines, please, Carol. So that the words are parallel. Nice and heavy. That should do. Well, I'm going to uh, clean up and we'll uh, We'll do show and tell. So this can be used either way. Attached either way. Things put in the pocket. Hmm. I'm wondering if that just doesn't call for a bit of a tie. I'll be right back. As you can see, I have uh, cut two slits through, and I'm using uh, this very, very pearl white um, seam binding because of her. I think it will be just right up here. And it would be a pretty closure. Maybe let it uh, hang down a little bit. Yes, I think we will. So, I'm a great lover in slits for uh, closures. They're, uh, they're doable. They're Certainly doable. And I recently found out that if you uh, go front to back, you get a uh, a perfect closure. The bow hangs quite nicely, and so. Back into the seam binding bin you go, and and now we'll uh, we'll do show and tell. I'll be right back. Well, here's our girl, and as you can see, uh, the little bit of darkening around the edge of her I think worked. Her pretty face shows more uh, against the green leaf. A little bit of uh, collage. And the, uh, the slit uh, bow closure. And I have to admit, I had to get out my gray Le Pen. And uh, not only are these my, is this my absolute to die for favorite stencil, I really cannot resist outlining it. I really have outlined humongous pieces of it, and I just keep doing it because it's like medicine for me. So, here we have the front, and here we have the back. 
is just a little bit more. And the, uh, the quite extended pocket. Let's see how far down this goes. This goes down. Well, this goes down about four and a half inches. So it certainly grew. I do hope that you have enjoyed sharing this with me today. I certainly am happy with the uh, result. And here is what the back of the uh, slits look like. If you have enjoyed, do consider giving me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. I do answer them. And I would appreciate your subscribing to my channel. Bye now. See you soon.